Um, it's 25 past nine, and it will take another 10, 15 minutes to answer you. <laughs> I have devoted some of this book to that subject. Um, he's asking about the hadith of Tamim ud uh, in Sahih Muslim, in which uh, the Prophet والسلام, narrated an event which he heard from Tamim al uh, where they went on an island and they met Najjal. And uh, he is saying that, well, there is the other hadith you quoted that he would be born. He's not yet born and he'll be a Jew. So how could they meet him when he's not as yet born? Hmm? Those who have read this book would know how to answer that question. Many of you here present can answer that question. When the Jal is released, he will live on earth for 40 days. Yawmun Kasana, a day which would be like a year. Yawmun Kashar, a day which would be like a month. Yawmun Kajuma'a, a day which would be like a week. Wasairu ayyamihi ka ayyamikum. And all his days like your days, meaning all the rest of his days like your days. When his day is like our day, he would be in our world of time. No one can dispute that. When he is in our world of time, he would be in our world of space. Only at that time, therefore, would we be able to see him. But he can be on earth and not be in our world of space and time. Are there angels on the earth? Are there angels in Masjid Darul Ihsan in Subang Jaya? Oh yes, they are. Can you see them? No, you can't see them. I know you'll tell me that your wife is an angel and you can see her. <laughs> yes, our women are our angels. Allah's greatest gift to us are our women. We must honor them, we must respect them. We must treat them like angels, except when they start to follow the child, then you part from them. Are there jinn on earth? Yes. Can we see them? No, but they are here. Hmm? In the same way, the child is here on earth. But you cannot see him. You will only see him at that time when he's born as a human being, grows up to rule from Jerusalem. And then he'll be.